There are a number of situations when you need to actually call methods that are on the supertype, even if you've overridden the method in the subtype. In fact, a lot of times when this happens, it's in the overriding version that you want to call the uh, one that you had in the supertype. And so we need to see what the syntax for doing that is. Uh, just quick note on these protected. Uh, I'm not happy with making these protected, so I actually will prefer to make them private. Fortunately for us, because we made the assignment methods where we can change width and height, it's not hard, too hard to make those compile. To give an example of when we would want to potentially override uh, or call, call the supertypes version, even when we have an override in the subtype, we can actually play with our draw methods. Now we haven't written our draw methods in, in our subtypes, but we're going to fix that. So let's go to our rectangle and we're going to put in our draw. We'll override it. Do the import. And drawing a rectangle on one of these graphics contexts we can do just by doing fill rect. Uh, we'll use zero for the x and y values and then width and height for now. That's a, a happy way for us to do this. And of course then it might also be nice to have, let's go ahead and close out our mutable versions. Our circle could probably stand to have this method as well. And what do we want to do here? Well, we want to have our graphics context dot fill oval. And again, I will put these at zero, zero. And for the width and the height, they will both be radius. Okay, so now we have some methods there. Now let's say that on my super type shape, I want to have it uh, use a color. And we will need to bring in the color type. And I'm going to make this a val. Now it turns out doing that is going to potentially break a whole bunch of code. Everything that inherits, in fact, I'll need to open up my mutable rectangle again. Because everything that inherited from shape now has to pass through a shape. Okay, well, or not, uh, needs to pass through a color. So I am going to add to each one of these an extra argument that is the color and we'll need to do an import of it. So we would do that to our rectangle. We add it to our circle. We'll add it to our mutable rectangle. Okay, so now we're almost happy with our color dot black. Only thing we have to change is when we instantiate these different things, they needed that. Oh, actually this cascades all the way down to our square and our rectangle or to our, our both our mutable and our immutable squares because they need to pass the colors through as well. Mutable square. Okay, now I can go back to shape. Yay, okay, so all this code is now happy. Um, now that we've added this color, we kind of want to have it so that our circle and our rectangle, close the things we don't need again, our circle and our rectangle use that color when they draw. Well, I could put code in here that would do that, but it turns out there might be other things that I put inside of shape 
that I want all of my shapes to do. And one way that I can make this happen in kind of a standard way is I'm going to make it so that the super type, the shape super type, does the setting of the color. Oh, not paint, sorry, fill. Because all of these are being filled. Okay, so I've set the color that, that I want this to be filled with. I could have put that line inside of rectangle and inside of circle, but then I'd be duplicating code, and if I decided that I wanted this to do more than just set the color, if there were other settings that I wanted to, to always have happen for all of my shapes, I would wind up duplicating more and more code, and I'd have to go and, and edit every different place. Instead, what I'd like to do is I'd like to have the rectangle, before it actually draws the rectangle, I want to have it called draw on the super type first, so that all the common code that I want can be put in the super types draw, and then it will be called from here and from here, so that as we add stuff to the super type, it will automatically happen in, in these other subtypes. Now, of course, if I just do draw GC, well, then draw will call draw, which we'll call draw, 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 and then this winds up being an infinite recursion and our program crashes. In order to make it so that it calls the version in the super type, we need to prefix it with super dot. So by calling super dot draw, I am definitely calling this method right here. By the way, that's another fun keystroke in, a, uh, in Eclipse. If you click on something and you hit F3, it will go to the point of declaration. So, for example, I want to go find rectangle. I can hit F3. You can also do this by control clicking on things. You hold the control key down and you click on stuff. That's a, another handy little keystroke. Super dot draw of GC. Okay, so now our rectangle and our circle will both wind up calling the shapes draw and then doing their own code for this. This is a fairly standard type of um, pattern that you'll see when you involve inheritance and you have some code that the super type needs to, that needs to be run across all the subtypes. You can put it in the super type and then have the subtype start off by calling the super type in order to make things happen. So that's the use of the super keyword. Um, we'll come back in the next video and we'll look at the issue that we have right now with shapes where I have two methods that really, really don't do much of anything and, well, we need to figure out what to do about that.